Prepare for an irresistible Thanksgiving meal at Whole Foods Market. Pick up an organic fresh whole turkey at the everyday low price of $3.99 per pound. Pro tip, shop today for the best selection. Or simply let Whole Foods Market cater your holiday with an elevated spread including gourmet turkey, sides like truffled Parmesan mashed potatoes, delicious desserts, and more. With holiday wine starting at $7.99, Whole Foods Market has Thanksgiving covered. Must be 21 plus. Please drink responsibly. If you've been feeling overwhelmed with anxiety lately, try listening to a guided meditation on the Meditation for Anxiety podcast. Meditation is a proven natural way to help you calm down and dissolve stress so you can feel lighter and happier. So subscribe for free today to the Meditation for Anxiety podcast by searching for Meditation for Anxiety on your favorite podcast player. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2357. Four Cardio Myths by Jill Coleman of jillfit.com. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Saturday. Thank you so much for being here and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily where I act as your narrator of the best health and fitness blogs all for free. And we have a few shows where we do this covering a bunch of topics. Just search for Optimal Living Daily in any podcast app to find them. And with that, Let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Four Cardio Myths by Jill Coleman of jillfit.com Love it or hate it, cardio can be an essential part of a comprehensive fat loss plan when applied correctly. However, the mistake that many make is that they use cardio and more cardio and more cardio as their number one tool to lose fat. Long-duration cardio has a poor track record when it comes to fat loss. You might lose weight, but many times, you're losing muscle too. To exclusively lose fat, your best tools, far and away, are nutrition and weight training. High-intensity interval cardio brings up the rear at number three. Long-duration cardio is what I call fun exercise and really should only be used if A, you're prepping for a long-duration event, like a marathon, and B, You just love the way it makes you feel. Longer duration cardio has shown benefit for mental health, and you just want to do it. For those who have a hard time prioritizing weights and just think cardio will get them shredded, start with the two-to-one workout rule. You're only allowed to do half the amount of cardio workouts as you do weight workouts. So, if I want to train four days a week, I'll allow myself no more than two intense cardio workouts per week. I can certainly do less, but no more. Now, this doesn't include things like leisure walking and yoga. This keeps us accountable to our weight workouts and also puts the emphasis on weights and nutrition over cardio. For this former cardio enthusiast, this rule was a good self-checking tool. Try it. And without further ado, here are four cardio myths and what's really going on. One. I will just do all cardio until I lose weight and then I will add weights to tone up. I have to admit, hearing this makes me cringe. There's a misconception out there that in order to lose weight, you just need to do cardio since lifting weights can't help with that and only makes you bulk up as if the two things are mutually exclusive. The good news is that adding weight training to your regimen right out of the gate will not only accelerate your fat loss efforts but will assure that what you lose is indeed fat and not muscle. Losing weight is easy, just stop eating. But losing exclusively fat is much harder. Adding lean muscle mass while shedding fat allows for your metabolism to work for you while you are not exercising. Cardio alone burns calories, yes, but at what price? Ask most anyone who has embarked on a marathon training program and they will report increased hunger and cravings. This is normal as a result of the hormonal effects of longer cardio workouts, but this consequence needs to be weighed against the benefits. Resistance training is like putting money in your metabolic piggy bank. Adding muscle to your frame serves you for the long haul. And weights are an essential part of any weight loss plan. And yes, you should start with them right now. Two, I just need to burn calories, so I will just do extra cardio. My nutrition is fine. Wrong. Your nutrition can usually use some tweaking first. Paying attention to your nutrition will have a much more profound effect on your fat loss efforts than cardio alone. 
as we say at Chill Fit, you cannot cardio your way to the stage or to a sustainably lean physique. In many ways, excessive cardio is just that, unsustainable. In our blog on exercise tolerance and breaking the cardio cycle, we touched upon the fact that the more cardio you do consistently, the less your body tends to respond over time and the more cardio you will have to keep doing simply to maintain. In other words, the amount you used to do to lose is now what you have to do in order to maintain. It's a nasty cycle, and the number one way to break it is to be more mindful of your diet. Most people can maintain their weight by simply keeping their nutrition tight. And if you are overweight or obese, you should be focusing 100% of your attention on your nutrition, not necessarily adding more minutes on the elliptical. Three, I want to lose fat, so I'll do my cardio in the fat burning zone. Ugh, such a misnomer. Fat burning zone. And unfortunately, it has people all over the world choosing that preset program on their cardio machines thinking they're losing fat like crazy. The fat burning zone is essentially a moderate intensity zone. That means per calorie burned, more are coming from fat than are from carbohydrates. First off, This ratio of fat use versus carbohydrate use is an individual thing anyway. So assuming a random cardio machine can accurately dictate the amount of fat you're burning during your workout is insane. Second, a moderate or lower intensity workout might burn a relatively higher percentage of fat calories over carb calories, but the absolute number of calories burned is lower. The higher the intensity of the workout, the more total calories burned which is the key. So instead, choose a high-intensity interval training cardio workout over a long-duration, moderate-intensity, fat-burning zone workout for best results. 20 minutes hard beats 60 minutes moderate any day if the goal is fat loss. And four, I'm an apple or pear shape. Cardio will help me get skinny. Usually comments are not voiced in this exact way, but essentially the myth is that Lots and lots of cardio will change your shape and make you into a toned fitness supermodel. The thing is though, cardio can only make you a smaller or larger version of your current self, depending on how much you're doing or not doing. Only intense, heavy weight training can actually change the shape of the body. Add muscle here, lose inches there, etc. In other words, essentially weights are your only tools to change the shape of your body. An apple that increases their cardio simply becomes a smaller apple. An apple that applies weights intensely opens up to a whole new physique. You just listened to the post titled Four Cardio Myths by Jill Coleman of jillfit.com. If I would have kept making only the minimum payments on my credit cards, my debt would have taken me 47 years to pay off. These are real National Debt Relief customers. I knew I wasn't going to be able to get out of debt by myself. Credit card, medical, or personal loan debt? National Debt Relief negotiates with your creditors to reduce what you owe. National Debt Relief got me out of debt. You could be debt-free in as little as 24 to 48 months. Visit nationaldebtrelief.com to learn more and get started. nationaldebtrelief.com. Prepare for an irresistible Thanksgiving meal at Whole Foods Market. Pick up an organic fresh whole turkey at the everyday low price of $3.99 per pound. Pro tip, shop today for the best selection. Or simply let Whole Foods Market cater your holiday with an elevated spread including gourmet turkey, sides like truffled parmesan mashed potatoes, delicious desserts, and more. With holiday wine starting at $7.99, Whole Foods Market has Thanksgiving covered. Must be 21 plus. Please drink responsibly. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Let's go back to the third myth Jill mentioned. I want to lose fat, so I'll do my cardio in the fat burning zone. I agree with Jill. Don't stress too much about staying in this zone. Jill was exactly right when she said that this idea is based on a metabolic concept, meaning how we burn our calories is based on the level of our exercise intensity. When we crank up the intensity of our workouts, yes, we tend to burn more sugar calories or carb calories as fuel. When we're in that moderate intensity zone, our body is supposedly burning mostly fat calories. But as Jill said, that may not actually be the case. Whether or not we're burning fat as fuel depends on a lot of things, not just exercise intensity. For example, our current level of fitness matters. 
The higher your level of fitness, the more fat you will burn during exercise. The more fat you'll burn while sleeping, while sitting in traffic, basically all the time. Plus, there's no guarantee that you're burning body fat. When we say burning fat calories, we may be burning fat that's found in the bloodstream. This fat is different than the types of fat found in our cells. You know, the ones we see as body fat around our waist and hips. So all of this again to say, don't stress about staying in the fat burning zone when doing cardio. Instead, move your body consistently and of course, keep that nutrition in check. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you're having a great weekend if you're listening in real time. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for the Sunday show where your optimal life awaits.